good morning. It's our last morning. We're headed home today. So we're going to pack up and then I thought I heard last night we were going to Rainbow. Maybe. On the way back. Maybe. We're not sure yet. Um, My neck hurts. My back hurts. We've been sleeping on the ground for the last few days. But we are going to get up, make some breakfast, pack up our stuff, tidy the car and get out of here. Morning guys, it is 9.30 and it's about 30 degrees. We just left, oh my gosh, it's so bumpy. <laughs> we just left our camp, um, which didn't, what, what, what did we call it? Something swamp? Uh, big swamp. <laughs> I don't know. Not big swamp, something, um, oh, I can't remember. Something swamp. Um, and we are headed to our first stop off, which is gonna be um, hopefully somewhere with a somewhere with a toilet and a bin so we can get rid of some rubbish and then we will be headed home on our way i hope we're gonna go through rainbow i heard that we were i'm not really certain um yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this we took the wrong one okay i remembered it was called millmead sweet swamp Mill Mead, Mill Med Swamp. And I remembered because I just saw another sign because we've just come through Arnold Springs. Anything to say? What? <laughs> we've just come out of the sand and now we're on a dirt track. Bigger trees. I think we're headed towards civilization. We just had a little stop off at round swamp because there was a toilet there and we just had a little break organized where we're gonna head and um oh now we're on the road again on the road again <laughs> somebody decided he was gonna go through a uh, puddle that turned out to be way bigger than he thought it was gonna be and now look at our windscreen what windscreen <laughs> <laughs> oh it smells so bad Stopped here at this um, information session center thing, Hyper Hyperfeld National Park. Acknowledgement of country down here. Traditional owners of this land, the Watchabalook, Wurundjeri, Jada, what a jelly. God, I'm all for this Jadawa and Jupalga people who continue to manage this land. So that's kind of cool. We've also got the story of how the land came to be about, the traditional story. You can pause to read that if you like. And we are here, I believe. Somewhere there. We came through here, that was where we stopped. And we're here. So we've just stopped off at a little place called the, I think it was called Western Beach Campground. Um, I'll have, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute because it's not what I was expecting when I heard the name. But we've just stopped off here so that we can um, fill up the tyres with air. So when you drive on the sand, I don't know if I said it earlier, but uh, when you do lots of sand driving and on the dunes, you've got to let your tyres down, otherwise you're going to get stuck. Um, so we're just pumping them up so we can do some road driving to head home. Just walking down what I think was the boat ramp and a boom. Just a field. <laughs> Popping some air in the top. We've just made it to a little stop off in Rainbow, and I just wanted to show you this adorable main street. I think it's so cute. It's got an actual rainbow. Let's see if I can go in. I can! So this is a big sign. And this is really cool. It says the area of Rambo is known as the Crawler Brim or place of bitter water by the Aboriginal tribes visiting the area. Just read if you like. It is 
toasty, so we got some icy balls. What did you get? Boss. Boss. And I got icy twist. pulled off to see the freight train. Freight train. Just stopped in at Green Lake, which is just outside Horsham, before we head probably on the last leg of the trip. And I'll just show you what it looks like. Just a little lake. I don't think I ever said it at the start, so I'm going to pop this in the start, but this is from the end, obviously. This is the UHF, um, which is like a little radio. Lots of truckies have them. We have them when we go full driving so that um, we can hear each other and we don't need a signal. So we don't need Wi Fi or internet or any of that. It'll just um, work off the, what does it work off? Satellite? The aerials? Off the aerials. Um, but it does also mean that anyone who's on that channel, just like the radio, can hear you too. So we had something interesting happen on the way home. We were on the freeway and we picked up some other people who were out in the bush because it goes for quite a long way, a few kilometers. Um, and we heard them saying some interesting things. So just be mindful of that if you have your HF or if you're just getting one. It is 5 p.m., um, 32 degrees, and we've just arrived home. It has been such a long drive today. We left at quarter past nine and it's five o'clock. So we've been driving pretty much all day. Um, you've seen we've had a few stops and I'll give you a little recap in just a minute. So a final little review of our trip. We were gone for, um, four days, four days, four nights. We traveled every day. I really enjoy those trips because you get to see so much, but it really is exhausting because you're moving every day, you're driving all day, most days. Um, but it is really fun and you get to see so many things. So I definitely recommend them. Um, the only thing is with moving every day, you can't have all the luxuries like our swag. We just have one mattress in it at the moment. Normally we have two if we're staying for a longer period of time. So it can get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, this specific trip was very interesting because I'd never been to the desert before. Have you, Baba? I've never been. So we've both never been to the desert, so it's very interesting. But we were with some very experienced people, so we were pretty okay. Um, I just kept thinking that we were going to like come out into a big opening where there'd be some water because that was similar to our one of our other trips we've been on the sand dunes. But that just never happened, obviously, because we're in the middle of Australia and well, not the middle, but we were um, in an area where there was absolutely no water. Anyway, um, I think one of the down points for me was definitely the thorns, thistles, bloody anything that stabbed me in the leg because plenty of things did trust. Anything for you, babe? Any down points? I don't know, getting stabbed by heaps of sticks. <laughs> and then just highlights, we got to see so many Australian animals. We learned a lot about the um, indigenous people of a lot of the areas and we got to see a lot of new things. So um, if you like videos like this and vlogs, then please um, comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was or give me um, something or tell me something um, about one of the places that we went that I didn't mention. I would love that. Also like and subscribe because that does help me keep doing this. So I know that you guys are enjoying it. And also always share it to your friends too if you think that they'd be interested. Thanks guys.